Hello everyone! I think that for every person, parents are the closest and dearest people in the entire world. Only they will help us understand the world around us, indicate mistakes, and will also support in all our endeavors. But at times, we may be angry with them and not accept what they advise us because we do not understand that they are doing it for us. Often, they do this to detriment of their interests and even health. However, sometimes, what we think is right, what we accept as a norm, and what we do not pay attention to can only be a dream that most likely will never come true. Dream of parents and home coziness. That's what a little girl from the United States named Klein dreamed of. This story began in one of the deprived areas of Kansas City many years ago. At the beginning of 2000, this place was unsafe for life because at one time, street gangs, violence, and brutality ruled here. It was in this spooky neighborhood that little girl Kleinscale lived along with her two brothers and her mother. Her mom wasn't a bad woman, but she had so many problems that she found herself on the verge of a breakdown. She could leave and return home only days later, leaving her children unattended. At the same time, local social services thought that her family was dysfunctional. Little Klein and her two brothers often stayed in the house even without basic things, including food. So she had to take care of herself and her younger brothers who looked at her like a guardian angel. Since the mother was almost never home, the girl was forced to keep an eye on her brothers as well as find a way not to starve to death. And there was only one way. Stealing. And she committed her first crime at 9 years old. One day, she went into one of the nearby shops, picked up some groceries, and walked out of there without even paying off. For a long time, Klein felt guilty, but hunger can make things a lot worse. Very soon, police learned about her theft, and that's when she started a very different life, but one step at a time. Despite all the difficulties that pursued the girl at every turn, she did not despair. But on the contrary, believed that someday, the day would come that would change her life for the better once and for all. And to finally wait for this time to come, the girl spent almost all her time in the world invented by her. Every day she sat on her windowsill and watched people passing by. And it so happened that by some strange and indeed amazing combination of circumstances, one person passed. I waited every day to see him. He was in beautiful shape and his gait and all appearance fascinated me. He always looked at her window as if he knew I'd be waiting for him there. So once, I didn't hold back and just waved at him. And how surprised I was when he smiled and in response, waved hello to me too. I remember hiding behind a window then and I didn't even think he was noticing me. Klein later recounted. However, as it turned out later, the man was a police officer named Jeff. He has been looking at this family's home since he was told of the shoplifting. Jeff Colvin is a patrolman working in this deprived area. As soon as data came to him about this girl, he immediately learned all the information about this family. So later, he decided that during his duties, he would definitely need to be as close to this house as possible to be sure that nothing happened there. But one thing led to another. Despite the fact that Klein did not even know the name of this policeman and never met him before, their daily greeting ritual has become of sorts a tradition. They continued to greet through the window, with the girl in awe every day running to greet her new friend. And weeks later, this very friend policeman knocked on their house, saying he wanted to talk to her. Sometime later, Klein recounted that on their first meeting, he said, Hi stranger, who waves through the window all the time? I just want you to know if someday you or your brothers need help, or perhaps something will scare you, you can always call me, fear nothing. I'll be around every day. At that moment, the girl was so surprised that she just stood and listened to him. The officer became one of the closest people to Klein, who could be entrusted with much. The mother was never around, so the girl knew who in the case of what could be relied on. And when they were scared, Klein always told the brothers that Jeff would come to their rescue, and he was sure to protect them. It always worked out, and the boys calmed down. It was with this friendship that began what soon turned her entire life around. But one day, during his next street patrol, Jeff glanced at the window as usual, but found no 
no one there. She was alerted by the fact that she did not come out to greet him, because for a long time, she went to him every morning to wave, but today, she was not there. Without hesitation, he came to their door and knocked, but since he didn't hear any rustle inside the room, he began to call the girl. However, nobody came out. That's when Jeff decided to crack the door and went inside, but what he saw there drove him into the deepest horror. Klein lay on the floor and did not move. She could barely say that she was difficult to breathe, and nearby sat her younger brothers, who cried at the fact that they did not understand what to do. The man immediately took the girl in his arms, put her brothers in the back seat of their car, and drove to a nearby hospital. As Jeff later found out, he arrived on time. If he was a few minutes late, Klein would have been already dead. Klein was so exhausted and dehydrated that doctors gave her a dangerous diagnosis, acute malnourish. Later, her mother arrived for the girl, and the policeman had a serious conversation with her. However, this conversation hardly acted on the grief parent. So the next meeting with Klein and her brothers, he would bring them some food. So it went on for quite a long time. He was telling the girl to always stay strong, and that she never needed to give up, no matter how bad things were. And the girl listened to his every word. During this time, he became the closest person to the girl. She considered him her father. All was fine. But one day, the story of their friendship cut short, but was not over. After a while, Klein's mother moved the girl along with her brothers to another city, and Jeff didn't even know where his little friend was. However, he also continued to perform his duties and retired 20 years later. At times, he still recalled the little girl who ran to the window every morning to greet him. And he also asked himself a question about her future fate. However, before his retirement entrance, one of the Kansas investigators, Jennifer Jones, asked him for help. She reported that she had important news and he needed to drive up to one place. The man was confused from her words. However, he fulfilled her request and went at the appointed time. But what happened later shook the man. He saw a girl who radiated immense life energy. But as soon as she saw Jeff, she walked up to him and gave him a hug. He knew immediately who was in front of him. However, once he learned her story, his eyes were wet from tears. Klein said that since their last meeting, the girl tried to find him for a long time. But since it has been 20 years, and she did not remember his name and last name, and did not know if he still served or not, the search dragged on for a very long time. She looked for him wherever she could, on social media, even looked at the base of all police officers. She couldn't find anyone like that. Who knows, would she have met Jeff, if not one email she received some time ago from police officer Jennifer Jones. It was she who later arranged for them this meeting. As Klein later recounted, throughout her life, she recalled words once told her by a guardian angel. So she called Jeff. She remembered all his words about never having to give up, that she needed to be strong, and also did not forget his scare. He inspired her so much that when she grew up, she became a police officer in the city of Houston. And after she learned his name, she indicated another reason why she decided to protect the streets of the city and its residents. She made herself a bracelet with his name and the signature, Real Hero. Currently, Klein is happy. She's the mom of two wonderful kids, and who knows if things would have come out the way they really were, if at that point, Jeff wasn't around. This story was shared by police officers on social media. And after that, letters began to come to the mall, in which people wrote that Jeff Galvin had done a lot of good for them. Even sometimes, the most ordinary acts that Jeff performed on a daily basis changed the lives of dozens of people daily. So it happens in their lives that sometimes, one act or one said word can coordinate someone's life for the better. What do you think about this? Write your opinion in the comments. And also, do not forget to put like, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell below this video. Share this video with your friends, and remember that good always comes back. And that's all for today. Thank you for your views. Bye!